Hi there, I just wanted to do a video focusing on the the fuzz face circuit but in particular looking at feedback within the circuit because I don't think it's been described particularly clearly in some of the videos I've seen. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole details of the circuit. Um, if you want to have some excellent analysis of the circuit go to um, electrosmash.com uh, they do a brilliant analysis of the fuzz face um, yeah so that's a good place to start for the overall circuit but I want to look at feedback um, so in particular you'll see this resistor here what's it doing so this is our normal input here signals amplified once comes through a separate uh, coupling capacitor into the second transistor and out uh, but we have this signal coming back here and, and this has a certain function and uh, we're looking at well feedback overall in the circuit so it looks a two transistor circuit um, it looks a fairly simple circuit but it's not as easy as it seems let's have a look <clears throat> let's start to look at the phase through the transistors so let's say our input is in this sort of positive negative cycle sine wave then at the um, collector uh, side we will have negative positive in antiphase and similarly uh, at the collector we will have antiphase to here positive and negative so this is now in in phase with the input but if you take a signal from the emitter, it is actually in antiphase. So this point here is in antiphase to the input. And this is what is being fed back through this trans through this resistor to the input. So we what this is is negative feedback. It's a hundred K um resistor that's fitted in this fuzz face, so there's a limited amount of this um signal being fed back and just to point out um, if you have a positive cycle and a negative then positive cycle the antiphase if you add those up and they are of the same magnitude you get nothing they cancel each other out so what we're doing is we're taking this you have this input signal which is small it's amplified twice so it's going to be actually um, Written, drawn it here but it's actually much larger but then we are then taking a small sample of this with 100k feeding it back to the input so it's quite a small signal that's fed back to the input here um, in antiphase and it cancels out a portion of this signal now that this is <coughs> negative feedback is used in many circuits and it has quite <laughs> incredible properties really um, it helps to well, it reduces the gain, so you think, oh, well, that's not great. Why would you do that? Well, also, at the same time, it flattens out the the frequency response, so it improves the breadth of your frequency response of the circuit. There's less dependency on the actual gain of each transistor. So if you're trying to make a, a circuit with varied um, HFEs, um, as old geraniums were, then it's a way of reducing the effect that they have on the overall circuit so less dependent on that transistor gain um, so uh, that is the properties of, that are, uh, are being used um, explo exploited with this um, looking at this AC signal alternating current signal being fed back but at full attack, let's have a look. There is also a thing called AC degenerative feedback going on here. So this is a separate thing. So when you're when we have this resistor on the emitter here, you have a, a bias voltage offset here. And the bias of the transistor is actually now between there and there, not for here and ground. So if you if you like the bias voltage at that input, um, it is this value here, but it is being modulated by the actual input. So the bias voltage varies. 
with the input signal. And the fact that the bias voltage is changing goes up and then down. This actually produces, so you've got a change in bias with the AC rise and fall, and it actually reduces, produces negative feedback just in this part of the circuit. So you have negative feedback created here, um, reducing the gain of the overall system by adding this, this resistor in here. So what can we do about that? We're reducing a gain here. Well, what we do is to reduce AC degenerative feedback, we can bypass. So the AC signals we know go through um, capacitors. The DC uh, stays the same, so the bias is stabilised at the input, but the AC goes straight through the capacitor to ground over the RC um, frequency cutoff point of this R and C. So we are getting rid of um, uh, degenerative feedback by this bypass capacitor. So when um, the pot is at full up, so uh, I'm, I've not drawn it as a, a resistor, when it's full up, this is the type of circuit you actually have. And in this case, the feedback through this 100K the AC feedback, shall we say, through this 100K is hugely reduced because it has an easier path straight through this capacitor to ground. So this does not do very much at all to the AC um, uh, uh, signal in, in, this, in this case. So there is not a lot of AC um, negative feedback going back through here. So this is another one of the reasons why when you've got the attack up, it's not only um, bypassing uh, the AC here and reducing the, the degenerative feedback across here, it is also reducing the amount of AC feedback through here. So the negative feedback through this resistor is reduced. So there's quite a lot going on here. And then so we just uh, uh, that's this is just summarising that. So we've got on a full attack, AC goes to ground, and there's limited AC going back to the input. But there's also the DC, and what happens here is the offset across this resistor in terms of the DC. There is some element of that DC fed back to the input. And what happens with the DC is if you have more current through this transistor, you get more heat. And the more heat through that transistor, they are quite sensitive to heat and you'll get more gain. And if you get more gain, you'll get more current through here, etc. And you can get what they call thermal runaway through these types of circuits with these types of transistors. So what they what you need in that case is negative feedback of DC. So um, if the current increases, then you then the input then will actually reduce some of the gain going back into the circuit and calm down that tendency to thermal runaway. So the DC feedback is giving us thermal stability. So that is one of the reasons why that um, resistor is there in these circuits. So <laughs> in summary, the, the uh, fuzz, fate, fuzz face feedback in this system is, is not quite so simple as it might seem. But uh, hopefully that is illuminating for you know, some people, may clarify things. I hope so. It's uh, there's quite a lot in it. I hope that's helped. Uh, please comment, correct me if I'm uh, made some mistakes, and yeah, your input would be appreciated. Yeah, hope that helps. Cheers. Bye.